for meshing with open form it is better to tag or separate the boundaries at the geometry level various softwares could be used here i will show you how to use blender to prepare geometry for open form depending upon the configuration this may include combining solids or extracting fluid regions or the interface between fluid and solid regions in this example I will show you all the steps required to prepare the geometry for the course project. Here in Blender, here in Blender, I will click New File General, and then we are greeted with this screen with a cube inside. I can remove this by pressing X and then Enter and then i can import the main solid objects so i can go to file import stl and i have three of them here so i can control select them all and then import it and then you can go to view and frame all uh, i will hide this floor here by clicking here and then you could see that we have in the scene collection a duct uh, and then we have fins and then a small cube which represents a he the heater so one of the thing that we want to do here is to define an outer geometry that contains all of those regions so i need to create a perimeter around these solids so it's very easy you can select all of them and then go click on this button and then from here select edit in the bool tool i want to combine them together then i will press union and you see here we see some modification the other objects are gone and the modification are then listed in this object which is still called duct if you want to see it a bit more clearly you can also go to edit mode and then we can see here that we have different boundaries defined so ne next step is to separate them so that we can use them later on I want to separate this part which will which is the base of the fin region. I want to separate this uh, these faces which are the walls of the heater and the remaining portion which will be the solid uh, which will be the boundaries wall boundaries for fluid region. So in the edit mode you can click on this face selection tool and you can start selecting on faces. So I, here I select these faces by clicking here. And then you can press right click and separate and P. And here we have it, a separate region, which is defined as uh, doc 001 here, but I will change it to the name that we will use in the project which is here base of the fins now i want to do the similar for this region for the walls of the heater so i can select one of them and then i go to select all the linked ones and then i can press p again to separate the selection so this object has been created as well. So here you could see it's again named as that. So I can rename it to walls of heater. I can hide this as well. And for the remaining part, I need to put this region as inlet. So again, I can press P, enter. 
and then I can hide it as well. And then the other part, which will be outlet. So I can put it here again, P and enter. You can see that we are only left, which what we will call here as wall of fluid. So I can put here walls underscore fluid. And I hide that as well. I can show this one as inlet for fluid region and this other one as outlet for fluid region. So we can show them now the base veins inlet, outlet, uh, fluid, wall, and the wall of the heater. So we are kind of done here. So we need to export them here. We can export them all separately and then we can use them in open form to define boundaries. So in order to export them to STL file, you can again select all of them and then go to file, export, STL, the important thing to note here is to use ASCII and then we have to use batch mode object so that each of these surface will be stored separately and we don't want to export other things which are not part of the selection and then you can put here selection only. Uh, if you are using this batch mode, then whatever you will put here will be the suffix for the name of the object. But if you don't specify anything, the name of the file will be the name that you have specified here. So I will just click export. And, and then we can use paraview to check these objects all together again. So we can check here again and we have these objects which are called base pane, walls of fluid, walls of heat, uh, inlet and outlet. I will just show one of them. So let's see this one and walls of heater. And we can see here, uh, we have this wall of the heater and the base fin, which is uh, defined separately. We, we do need another step, which is to combine all those files in one file, which is very useful in open form, so that we have to just manipulate when uh, geometry file make boundaries during blender now we need another step to combine all the boundaries in one file so that it, it is easier to manipulate in open form we will also add tags or names of the boundaries that we will get out of the mesh in open form we will do that by using a script as shown here you only need to provide the name of the surfaces that you want to combine. For example, here in our case, we have inlet fluid, outlet fluid, base fins, walls of fluid, and walls of heater. And then you may want to change the name that you want in your meshing file. For example, here I have only specified, uh, have used the same name that we have for the file. For example, in this list, you don't need to worry about other things. And then in the terminal, you can just run this command. Uh, if I go here, I have a list of all those files. And then I can run this command, uh, which is tonight STL. And then we will get a combined file, which is shown here as combined file. A and we can open that in open form uh, in Paraview. And if you go here and open that, 
So instead of these separate objects that I can hide here, we will get one combined surface. And as you could see here, we have four different surfaces or boundaries here. And that's very useful when working with open form because this is a closed surface and it also contains the name of all the boundaries that we need in our setup. 